Hi, and welcome back to our mailbag series where we answer real questions from our audience. Hi, I'm Dave Lopez, founder and managing member of ILG Financial. And I'm Chase Lopez, advisor with ILG Financial. And this is another episode of Retire Your Way with ILG Financial, where we talk all things retirement planning. All right, so before we get started, Dave, just want to always alert the audience, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below so you can get any future updates for any future videos that we do. Thank you, Chase. All right, so we're going to jump right into it. Again, it's our mailbag series. We're going to answer questions from mm -hmm. the audience. Sure. So we're going to kind of jump right into them. Mm -hmm. All right, Chase, the first question is from Rebecca in Tucson. Okay. And her question is, hi, I'm Rebecca. Uh, my mom is 85 years old. I have power of attorney for her. Okay. She has dementia. Oh boy. How am I supposed to invest for an 85 year old with, with these medical issues? Sure. So I would, my first suggestion, Rebecca, would be get with a financial professional, right? Someone who specifically deals with folks in retirement, especially late stage retirement, and get with them to see exactly how you should invest those funds for your mom. Because the reality is, for every 85 year old, there's a little bit different advice you could give every single one, right? Really depends on what your mom's goals are as far as, you know, if she wants to pass money on to the heirs, if she needs money now for some of that dementia care. So again, you just want to get with your financial professional and they can really drill down on exactly what you should invest in based on your mom's you know, current situation. Yeah, and I'll even add in, that's a wonderful point. You can help your position, Rebecca, before you meet with the advisor. And if it's just you, you can do it. If it's other family members like your spouse or your brothers and sisters, get mm -hmm. together and try to articulate before you meet with the advisors what you feel like the goal and the need is for this money. That's the right. more information you give your advisor, the better they can help you. It's just like a doctor. Great point. They're Great not, point. They're not going to know what to do based on the fact that she's 85 and has dementia. They're right. going to need a lot more information about what's going on with your family. So kind of articulate that mm -hmm. first and you can pass it on to your advisor. Yeah, absolutely. Great question. All right, so Dave, next one's for you. Mm -hmm. This is from Brian in St. Louis. Okay. And his question is, he sees the need for long-term care. Okay. He wants to get long-term care insurance, but based on his experience, it's very expensive. So what do I do? Yeah. What, yeah. So first question is, I want to compliment you on addressing it. Yeah. Because the biggest challenge we're seeing in the industry is most people don't want to address it. They want to put their head in the sand mm -hmm. and just say, well, it, it's not going to happen to me. Believe it or not, I've had folks say, uh, that's not a concern. I've got an aunt and a, a parents still alive and none of them have ever needed it. Mm -hmm. Right. That's called anecdotal evidence. You right. want to look at right. real big data. Right. The big data is this. On average, if you make it to 65, you have roughly a 70 percent chance, Chase, of needing in-home or facility care. I say Chase, but Chase knows all of this. So I'm talking <laughs> to you. Right. So it's a seven in 10 right. chance. It is a big risk to the point with one of the what we call retirement time bombs. You can yeah. do everything else right. You don't plan for this and you're one of the ones unlucky enough to need it it can just completely blow your plan out and drain your accounts to zero. Right. Mm -hmm. The average cost, it's dependent on the area and the right. level of care, but it's right now in the area of five to eight thousand dollars a month and the average stay is, you know, three to five years, mm -hmm. depending. If you have dementia or Alzheimer's, it can be as high as eight, nine, ten years. So right. you can see financially you're talking about seventy to ninety thousand dollars a year. Right. For nine years, mm -hmm. good gracious, right? You're yeah. talking about almost a million dollars in right. that situation. So you're on the right path to address it. Some of it can be expensive. Well, the reason is the payout's huge, right? Right. So you want to get a candle on the possible expenses. Mm -hmm. Here's the good news. There are ways to deal with this. One is traditional long-term care. That will be, if you're looking for low cost, the cheapest. Mm -hmm. It's think of it if you were talking about life insurance more like term life insurance. The premium's cheap, but in return, you can expect the premiums to go up right. over time, which is a problem in retirement, frankly. Right. Because if you're on a fixed income and you're used to a thousand dollar long term care bill and it goes up to twelve hundred, you don't have the extra two hundred. Right. But now more than ever, as you get older, you're more likely to need your care. So mm -hmm. it's a problem. Right. That's the cheapest. So get with your financial advisor and ask him for quotes on traditional long-term care and see what's available. If you can't afford it, 
just like anything else, something is better than nothing if right. you're worried about long-term care. So let's say you, you think, I'd like to get $8,000 a month in coverage because of what Dave and Chase said is possible, but it's unaffordable. Well, 4,000 in coverage is better than no coverage. Yeah. So look mm -hmm. at what's realistically you can afford and something's better than none. The disadvantage, Chase, to traditional, is you could pay in for 20 or 30 years, be lucky enough to die in your sleep and you don't get anything back. Right. 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 So there's other ways to skin that cat. There's mm -hmm. other ways to get long-term care. And we call it self-funding. And there's right. several ways to do it, right? You can use specific investments uh, or accounts that you already have and just earmark them for long-term care. I will tell you, if you do that, you want to be very specific and intentional in how you invest. You want to invest specifically for using the money down the road for long-term care. And mm -hmm. that means it would exclude some investments like stocks I wouldn't put in that investment, right? right? right. Because it's too volatile. We don't know when we're going to need the money. Right. That's called self-funding. And then there are some investments for self-funding specifically designed for long-term care. In fact, it's called asset-based long-term care. And if you want more information on how asset-based long-term care works, you know, just click the link below. We can get you more information on that and how that works. Right. But that allows you to pay in. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but if you don't need the coverage and you're lucky enough to pass away in your sleep, your heirs just get the money or a, a large portion of it back in the form of a tax free death benefit. Right. right. So that was a lot more palatable for the folks. Mm -hmm. It costs in theory. We say it costs more. But if you're getting money back, it doesn't cost. All you're doing is just investing into that bucket, knowing exactly how much you're going to get back either as long-term care or as a, as a non-used death benefit, or I think of it almost like a refund could yeah. be. Yeah. So there's a lot of ways to do it. Mm -hmm. The short answer is, I, that was the long answer. The short answer is get with a, your financial professional right. who's well-versed in both asset-based based, long-term care strategies for self-funding with existing accounts and existing real estate and traditional long-term care and help together you decide what's the best fit for you. Thanks for that one, Dave. I think we covered them. Yeah, so uh, join us again for another one of our videos in the future. Hit the like and subscribe button and you'll, and you'll get alerted for any of these future videos. See you next time.